Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we have the Galaxy S5 here running through some tutorials and how to's. And today I want to show you the camera. Um, and the camera itself is um, has a lot of the same features as last year, but uh, they've added a lot of. Um, it's a different menu system, and there's some new stuff that's pretty cool as well. So let me walk you through it. Actually, let me pull over a prop here so you're not looking at a white screen on the camera there. Um, you still have your, your uh, mode button here, and you don't have that uh, wheel that you had um, last year with the S4. And you see, I think it's on, yeah, on the, Note, uh, the Note 3 as well. Um, the... Uh, over on the bottom here is where you'll scroll through through the different modes and um, you'll notice like a racer and drama shot aren't there they're going to be in shot and more now combined and I'll go over that in a little bit but everything here will be on your should be on your phone when you first turn it on except for sports I actually downloaded that you'll see there's a download option here that'll go into the Samsung store app store and you can download um, more versions and a lot of them are from last year like an animated photo which is you know a gift creator sound and shot so that gives you a little bit less bloat on your phone if you don't use them because obviously that's a lot of different settings and most people don't use them all so that's a good move by Samsung on that so uh, right now we'll leave it on auto and on the video you have your video button here and what's also cool about it is you can go ahead and start videoing and you'll see here a pause button shows up which is really nice so you don't have to create separate files so if you know for whatever reason that you want to you're going to want to continue or whatever you can hit pause and then continue and it'll be all in one video which is really nice of course if you decide to change your mind you can hit stop or go ahead and continue on where you left off then you hit stop you can hit pause as many times as you want and then there's and then the final product of course you go to the gallery with the bottom and then um, well before I do that you also have your snipping tool for video so you can trim it to whatever you want just like in previous years um, but we're gonna go ahead and delete that and go back to the camera here now up at the top here is where you can switch to the front facing if you want to do a selfie uh, and of course it talks about uh, gives you your beauty face option with that as well automatically just so make sure your, all your selfies are beautiful um, over here is uh, selective focus which is new for this year and that is a lot like say HTC One uh, M8's duo camera where you can uh, put the background out of focus so you have to make sure that that's turned on although you can do it after the fact um, if, you, if you forget to do that through another editing option in here uh, but I'll show you that um, and then uh, that's to toggle it back off over here is where you turn on your HDR toggle quick and you can this works for both video and audio I mean sorry video and and stills and um, you're supposed to be able to see exactly what the HDR will look like uh, however in this particular situation there isn't much of a difference and then finally over here is all your main settings where you can change your picture size burst shots on or off stabilization face detection you can uh, you can uh, do flash you can add effects here if you want um, add effects that's before the shot so it's permanently in there of course you can add effects after the fact you can uh, fool around with your white balance your exposure um, you can have shutter sound on and off and all those different things there uh, your location tags so that's and there's of course a nice help as well so um, you know check that out uh, it doesn't have as, a lot as many settings as say the HTC One M8 but there's enough there for your average uh, user now, um, I mentioned uh, the uh, select uh, the uh, shot and more. Whoops, I don't want to do that. That was one of my examples. Uh, if I go into shot and more, what that's going to do is it's going to allow give you that burst shot for all photos, um, and then come back with what things will work with it. So that's where eraser mode is now, uh, and uh, beauty face uh, or best shot. And all that is, um, let's just go ahead and OK, and I'll take an, a sample photo here, which there's no motion in. But what you'll do is you're going to want to hold the camera steady. It's going to last uh, three or so seconds or whatever. And I'll go ahead and hit the shutter, and you can see the bottom there with the percentage. And once that's done, it'll process, and then it will come back with options for your best photo, best face, um, uh, array, uh, drama shot, eraser, and panning shot. 
right now in this particular example, all I have is best photo out of the whatever amount that it took. Um, the best part of this right now, though, is, and this you could not do last year, I can go ahead and get out of this and then still go back and um, go to the gallery later and do the same kind of editing. You'll see that little... Uh, icon there that means that that is a shot and more and I can go ahead and tap the editing and whatever again it's going to give me the same options if there were more or less options at the bottom and I can go ahead and change them I'm going to, I'm going to actually go ahead and actually just delete this one there's, there's not much going on with it and just show you a quick little example thing I had here of my hand going across the uh, lens so in this particular photo I had my hand go across the uh, lens to kind of do drama shots and whatever. So I'm going to go ahead, it's got the icon there, I'm going to, have to tap on the screen, then tap on the, on the um, editing, and you can see I have more options for this particular photo, and only best face is grayed out. So I have your best uh, photo, drama shot, eraser. So let's just look at drama shot. I can go in the drama shot here, and just like last year, I can go in and select the photos that I want, select them all, select a couple of them, whatever, and then I can go ahead and save it. And actually what it's going to do is not only save, it's going to save it separately so I can still do further editing on this from the original photo. It's actually going to put the photo not in the same uh, folder. I'm going to just go back out here. Uh, it's going to put it in the studio folder right here. So that's my studio folder where any of those photos that I've edited go into. And um, so that is pretty cool. So if I go into the studio photo... Uh, it shows that I can do um, I can do more editing if I want, but I can also um, go back to the original, go back to the original here, and I can create another version of it if I want. Whoops, I keep hitting the icon by mistake. So I can go in and if I want to do a racer shot um, or panning shot, panning shot will take a particular image and add a little blur to the background as well to look like motion. So I can do motion blur, blur um, by just going, you don't see it too much in this particular photo. Um, and X out of that. So I can go back, let's just say I want to go back in the drama shot, and I want to just do three of the images. I can resave it and do it again. So that's really a good plus right now this year with uh, Samsung allowing you to do that. You still have to know that you want to take the, a particular photo that you might want to do that. So you're going to have to put it in the mode uh, beforehand. You've got to know that. You're not going to be able to do it after the fact. Now, let's talk about um, selective focus. Selective focus allows you to focus the background um, or even on the subject if you want and uh, or take the focus out of the background or on the subject, whichever one you want. And again, you're going to have to know you want to do this, but there is another option which I'll show you. So if you're in selective focus, you'll go ahead and take the photo and you'll see it, it's, it was a little too quick. Uh, because it didn't, it wasn't able to see the contrast effect between the subject. Obviously, this isn't the kind of photo for that. They want you to be rather close to, which is a little weird, one and a half feet. But that is the particular uh, photo there, um, which isn't going to work. But I have another example. When you use the selective focus, it's going to just much like the um, shot and more, you're going to have an icon here. So this particular icon is basically telling me that is a selective focus. Now, in this shot right here, it's actually out of focus the background but I can go ahead and tap it and change it so I can actually put him out of focus and put the background in focus or I can do pan focus and actually everything's back in when I'm done what it's going to do is actually just save that photo that way whichever one I leave it with it's going to save it and I'll go ahead and it done and but I can still go back and change it again if I want so it doesn't actually save the photo in that um, special section of the gallery, which is kind of uh, weird in a way, that uh, confusing, but that's the way it works. Now, the interesting thing is, if you um, have a photo that you did not use the selective focus, I'm going to turn it off, you can still kind of do it. Now, here's a photo here where I don't have it. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, Samsung didn't detect a uh, face I'm going to show you. If you just tap on the photo, go to the editing, on the bottom here you'll get your options where you can add all kinds of effects and things like that. Go to portrait and go to out of focus 
this it says no face detected. I have no idea why, but no face detected. Now I'm going to go to another example here, and we'll just say uh, let's just go with this photo here, which isn't the greatest photo in the world. Um, but you can see I have a background here in this particular photo. This was not taken with selective focus. It's just a regular photo. Tap it. I'm going to hit edit. For whatever reason, I was able to pick up the face on this one. So I'm going to hit portrait, and I'm going to hit out of focus, and right away it took the background out of focus. And I even have a dial that I can do, so I can do half of it or whatever. Um, you can see it puts a lot of it out of focus over here, not so much. But again, it's another, at least it's another opportunity. And when you're done, you can go ahead and hit save for this particular situation because in this situation it's going to keep the original photo intact and then save it high quality or good quality. I'll leave it at good quality and then I'm going to back out and then I'll go back to the main part of the gallery and you'll see the studio. There's my two photo, photos in the studio. So, um, and there's that photo right there and the original photo is still intact. So that's pretty much it um, uh, as far as um, a lot of the camera features and, uh, different, and some of the new stuff that's offered here in the Galaxy S5. The biggest thing is the selective focus and the condensed shot and more and also allowing you to do further edits after the fact. But again, uh, you know, I keep repeating myself, but you gotta, the one thing that kind of stinks with all these things is you got to know beforehand at least somewhat, uh, at least what shot and more if you want to do a drama shot you got to know beforehand um, and that's one of the things HTC One has an advantage of um, if you're in Zoe for example if you use Zoe a lot you can always do a sequence shot with that but however you can't do duo shot so if you're in the auto mode you can do it but a, a, each phone has, got, has their pluses and minuses so that's the Galaxy S5 camera I'll do a couple separate videos as well for the um, shot and more and the um, selective focus as well but this one I wanted to give you an overview of the whole entire uh, uh, camera software so uh, till the next video thanks for watching this is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android